And worldofpoker.com in association with Virgin Games are proud to present the Nutstock TV. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now you you got you got more registered cash players than you've got registered tournament players. Absolutely. Do the cash players complain that the tables get taken up for a for a certain number of time? Es- essentially, cash players will always complain. <laughs> <laughs> just, you just got to live with the amount of complaints you will get. It, it's and, and and to a degree, you you understand exactly where they're coming from. Yeah. They're coming here to look after themselves. Mm. They see that the competitions disrupt the cash games, mm. but they also see that the competitions actually bring in yeah. a new source of business effectively for them. Yeah. So as it's it, essentially they really like it, but when it upsets them on a certain day, they're going to give you some grief about it. Now you've got a, a massive table that you, we, we've seen over the last couple of days underneath the, the mural. Yeah. That's, that's probably the biggest t- cash game you've got. Yes. Freddie uh, Deeb started coming. The um, world famous bracelet winner Freddie Deeb. But you've got to remember, Freddie Deeb used to play a lot of his poker I've heard in so, this yes, club. I've heard you know, so. you go back ten years. Mm. Freddie Deeb was in here. I don't know what twenty weeks of the year. Right. You know. And what's it? What's it like putting up with Neil Channing twenty four seven? He used to be a nice guy. You know that. He used to be a nice guy. <laughs> no, Neil's great. Neil's great, and Neil's very helpful to us mm. because he's the sort of guy that, that can easily articulate. Uh, problems that the players are having in the club, yeah. and that's 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 very helpful to ne- us. Neil Chad is one of these guys that wants the best for the poker player, absolutely, and not be selfish about it because he knows what the, what they want, and he knows he has to. They have to be give and take on both sides. Essentially, Neil understands that he also needs the casinos that run the card rooms. Mm. He needs them, basically, to you know, to do well. To actually, yeah. so basically, he knows that they do well. They invest more in poker. Yeah. That creates a larger market. That's better for all his business interests. Yeah. And, and the fact that he loves the game as well, yeah. and he just wants to play the game every day of his life. Yeah. And uh, so he can look at it from our point of view quite a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, less over the last few weeks, should we say? <laughs> but uh, but you know that's great. He comes to us, and we have uh, some very good discussions about yeah. where things should be going. Mm. Now, last question before we both go separate ways, and we carry on with the poker event. You'll carry on running your casino. Okay. Uh, you're going 24-7. Absolutely. Uh, We're looking forward to it. It's going to be great at this place. It's it's something that I think there's only a couple of clubs in Britain that, at the moment that are doing it. Uh, London obviously can cope with, with the demand. Uh, staffing problems going to be an issue at all? Not at all. I mean, basically, we've been planning this for a period of time. There's right. a lot of work already gone into it. When we go from the first day, we'll be ready to, to service the business at whatever level it comes in. Yeah. We know there's going to be poker business. We've researched the market. We right. know the business will be there. We'll see an increase not only in our business because of the extra hours, but more people will be coming here during the other hours, yeah. the existing hours were open, because they know if they get involved, they can play for the next 24 hours if mm. they want to. And that's really important, obviously, to a lot of serious players. Mm. Will you ever be doing the twilight shift? <laughs> I will definitely be doing it sometime, yeah, because, you know, there's not that many of us. And uh, mm. you've got to, it, it, and, and to tell you the truth, it's a great, it's a great buzz for us. It's a great learning experience, yeah. and, and, and it's great for our business. You know, we're, we're being more successful every year in a, in a time when lots of businesses are suffering. Mm. And so, so where else would you want to be? Well, exactly right. Thanks for talking to us, Terry. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's Fantastic. A pleasure. And uh, well, done, well done for having the best card on the Thanks very much. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.